Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, I got a quick video that uh, I wanted to touch on because uh, this week at camp, we had a scoffer, all right? You know, he came and at first as, you know, he wanted to sincerely hear the word or ask a question, but turned out, you know, he be he was a scoffer. And um, the stumbling block, you know, it was many stumbling blocks that he had, but the main one, you know, he tried to pull his parachute on, all right, to save himself was uh, this Trinity thing, all right, which is the, um, well, according to him, he said that he believed... Uh, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai, he believes that he was God, you know. So the first thing that came in my mind was the Trinity, all right, which the churches, the government, you know, churches teach, which is um, God, uh, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one, all right. And um, when the scriptures speak of them three being in one, it's talking about one accord, but they were separate different entities okay let me say the heavenly father is one entity Yahweh Shai is the other and the holy spirit is just the word all right and also the spiritual powers who the lord is going to give in these latter days which is according to his elect so you know i grab a few precepts i'm here at the park you know i was meditating and um came up with these precepts you know either way uh you know yesterday it was very edifying and um you know something to build from so let's get right to it this is uh the topic of this lesson would be the trinity is not biblical precepts all right now these are precepts which you can't deny all right which really uh brings into captivity all the false philosophy okay and all the you know false fables and of this trinity thing these are scriptures here that you can't get around all right so this is hebrews 1 and 5 it says for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have I begotten thee and again I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son all right so that kills this scripture alone kills the fact you know of that this this thing where you think that um Yahweh Shai is the father okay now the Lord, the Heavenly Father says here, he says, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, that's Yahweh Shai, all right, the first spirit created, he say, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. And of the angels, he say, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. So this is the Heavenly Father giving power and glory to his begotten son, his first begotten son. Okay, let me say that correctly. All right, which is the first spirit created. All right, and he made all other angels bow down unto Yahweh Shai. So how could the son be the father? Okay, now they were of what? One accord, all right, following the same structure. The son followed everything of the father, just like um, the elect followed everything of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Matthew 24, 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels or of heaven, but my father only. All right. So even Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he didn't even know. Well, he doesn't know the hour and the set day that he's going to return. Only but the father. So is the son the father? No, they're two different entities. All right. Two different powers. Yahweh Shai is a less of power than a greater power, which is Yahweh, which is the supreme power. 
the all right the the, the the power of all powers all right how do you explain that if you believe that the son is the father how do you explain matthews 24 34 to 36 i'll read 36 again but of that day and hour know of no man what what day is that the day that the, the lord yahweh shah will return all right which you know we're in that season all right coming it says, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. All right. And if I'm not mistaken, in the red letter Bible, you will see that this is Yahweh Shai speaking. OK. He said only but my father only. Why would the Lord, OK, speak of his father if he was the father? Wouldn't he have spoken with great authority and said what it was? Why would he had to, you know, make reference to a power greater than him? All right, to, to his father, you know, like I said, these are quick precepts just to kill that theory. All right, to kill that nonsense. This is John 14, 28. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye will rejoice because I said I go unto the father for my father is greater than I. That's that's it. I could close the lesson and, and, and that's it. You know, it's over. All right. What what did the Lord Yahweh Shai say here? OK, ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. Right. If ye love me, ye would rejoice because I said I go unto the father for my father is greater than I. And close the book right there, man. All right. Ain't no getting around this. Uh, St. John 17 and one. All right, this is have 15 verses, so let's get through it. It says, These words spec Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thou son, that thou son also may glorify thee. And here it is, Yahweh Shai praying to the Father. If he was the Father, then why is he praying to a Father? As thou has given him power over all flesh. Who gave Yahweh Shai power over all flesh? Yahweh. That he should have, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him. Who, what, man, I'm excited, excuse me. You know, Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the elect, okay? The Alahayims, the powers, all right? It says, and thee, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true power. And Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. So showing you Yahweh Shai is, refer is making reference to Yahweh, to the Father, that he sent him, okay, in the earth to gather the elect, to spread forth this gospel. Whom thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Mm. You no know, getting around that. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. You see that? Because Yahweh Shai was that first spirit created. That what we read, you know, a few verses up, the first begotten son. All right. He was not the father. Okay. Uh, and now, O Father, glorify, uh, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was i have ministered thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world uh, thine they were and thou gavest me thou gavest them me and they have kept thy word now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee see is of the father all right it says for i have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. <laughs> I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me for that, for they are thine. And I wish uh, yesterday we could have just read this and just closed the book on that guy. But, you know, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, he he uh, he edifies when he edify, man. All right. So verse 10 and all mine are thine and thine are mine and I am glorified in them 
and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. All right, meaning on one accord. All right, Yahawashai came down here to set us straight, to get us right, okay? While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, which is Yahweh. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the word have hated them. Excuse me. I have given them the word, thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. All right. Now this is Matthew 27, 46. And about the ninth hour, Yahabashai cried with a loud voice, saying, Elah, Elah, Lama Shabbatanah, Shabbatana, wait, Shabbatanah. All right. That is to say, my power, my power, why hast thou forsaken me? So how do you explain this? When Yahawashai was on the cross and he cried out, Eli, Eli, Lama Shabbatana, all right, which means my power, my power, why hast thou forsaken me? How do you explain this? If, if who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ was the father, all right? Uh, it's my last one, John 20 and 17. Yahawashai, all right, say unto her, teach me not, uh, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my power and your power. So Yahweh Shai, all right, fully explained, all right, through the gospel, how he came in the name of the father, not that he was the father, you know, and that's the proper understanding, man, of that. You know, and as this is just precepts, you know, you could get deeper, you know, into it. But uh, like I said, I'm here at the park. I was meditating on this, on a video and this character that came up uh, yesterday in camp. And I just jotted down some precepts that came to mind. All right. And I hope you guys are the hopeful elect were edified by these precepts, you know, just quick and to the point. So I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.